Um, we are essentially trying to maintain as much as possible a six feet um, social distancing between one student to the next. So in a typical lab, we have 24 students maximum. Now we cap it to six to the maximum. I guess for a laboratory, we always use uh, lab coats, goggles and gloves. So that's the normal thing. But um, for students, we also provided uh, uh, face masks for those who don't have them. Um, as well as a face shield, um, so that, uh, that that's just going to be an extra layer of protection for the students. We also have an enhanced kind of cleaning protocol at the end. Typically, students just kind of clean up the laboratory glassware, but this time around, they would need to uh, wipe and disinfect the area that they work in. So, um, so there's a lot of additional steps there uh, involved. I think the biggest change for me, it felt like was having to work independently because, you know, in my experience in a lab, you almost always had a lab partner. So if you were sure of something, you could check with your partner and like go through the process together. But since we didn't really have that because we had to work by ourselves, we can be near each other. You had to make sure that you really understood the lab, you knew what you were doing, um, and that you had the whole procedure down pat, basically. Um, other than that, you know, like, like the entire campus was very empty because you know there's no students there so it was pretty easy to avoid people when you're outside of the lab and within the lab we were all separated by like just we had our own benches so we weren't near each other you know a lot of science is learning how to do these techniques and like getting those hands-on experience so we've done like stuff like spectroscopy, determining like how much caffeine and um, how much like acid is in a soda and that kind of thing. So like having a practical application of the things we've learned is incredibly helpful. Um, obviously the laboratory setting is the one that students just simply can't touch laboratory glasswares and so on. So that that's that's one aspect of it. But in the end of the day, it's it's really mechanical. You you would need to do this first and then the other. It's really, it's you just work with your hand, and then that's going to be something that's missing. If we're trying to put a face-to-face -face class in an online setting, it's not going to work out because face-to-face -face and online have different strengths and weaknesses. The answer is yes, um, uh, at least for myself. Um, um, of course, when there's not a lot of people on campus, it's pretty straightforward. It, it, there's, it's less onerous. But um, I think for now, I think uh, definitely the chemistry department is doing a great job in terms of trying to make, uh, uh, to make me comfortable in terms of being on campus and, and doing these classes. I felt pretty safe just like, you know, with my mask on, with my um, face shield being in that lab spaced away from everyone because I think we were all very appreciative of being able to be back in the lab. And I think none of us wanted to risk it by someone contracting COVID. So students were generally pretty respectful of the social distancing rules and the mask rules. And I think that's because we wanted to be able to keep coming back to class. Absolutely. Um, Honestly, I, I really miss the lab component to a lot of my classes. Um, you know, you get the opportunity to work with other people, which, you know, I didn't really have that this time, but I still enjoyed got, getting to see my classmates and my professor in person. Um, and 
it was really nice to actually get the hands-on component again because so much of science is knowing how to do these techniques and I think that's really what I missed it was being able to do that so getting back in person was such a exciting moment for me